When I am back in the White House, I will immediately end the Biden border nightmare that traffickers are using to exploit vulnerable women and children. We will fully secure the border. I will wage war on the cartels, just as I destroyed the ISIS caliphate, 100 percent gone, 100 percent destroyed. They'll come back now because we have a weak administration. I will use Title 42 to end the child trafficking crisis by returning all trafficked children to their families in their home countries and without delay. And I will urge Congress to ensure that anyone caught trafficking children across our border receives the death penalty immediately. And that includes also for women, because women, as you know, are number one in trafficking. Children are actually number two. According to authorities, this undercover sting started in July of last year. Detectives said they posed as underage children and prostitutes in order to catch these people. 51-year-old David Moss, a former lieutenant for St. George Police and a bishop with the Mormon Church, I marvel at 11-year-old young men who, now as deacons, worthily pass the sacrament each Sunday. They go to the temple along with our 11-year-old young women. she would be a second wife. She asked this question, would she be able to have her own house or would she have to live with her husband and his first wife? <laughs> I just told her to trust the Lord. Concerns marriage. This second chart shows a related increase in the age of marriage of young Latter-day Saints. This portrays the average age of Latter-day Saint men and women at the time of their first marriage. It shows an increase of about five years for both men and women. Consider what young adult Latter-day Saints miss when their marriages are intentionally delayed for a significant period. Opportunities lost and blessings postponed. 